everybody. It's me, Jessica, your health fitness program manager from McLean. And I'm here today to guide you through an awesome total body for floor based mind body practice where we're going to focus on creating some space, both magic. Oh my gosh, creating space both mentally and physically so that we are prepared for new beginnings. Maybe your new beginnings are the school year that just started or the upcoming holiday season. Maybe you have some new tasks that you're working on for work or relationships that you're trying to navigate. Maybe you're just getting used to this new normal. So I wanna thank you guys for coming. We're gonna get started in right now. Actually, let me just turn the volume down on my computers. Volume. Okay, so coming to the back of your mat towel or space on the floor, we're gonna get started with extended child's pose. So go ahead, open your knees nice and wide, bring your toes together, start to sink your hips back towards your heels, open your hands, spread them out wide at the top of the mat, press the top of your fingers down, release your head to the mat, relax your hands down towards the floor. Start to come into your breath, into your practice for today. Really just working to slow your breath down, start to slow your mind down and focus right here on this moment, right now, on the length that you're creating through your body, on the stretches and sensations that you bring throughout your practice and let everything else, all of your other responsibilities and needs and thoughts and wants just simply melt away. Enjoying this moment. And in your next breath, enjoying that moment. Think about using your inhales to find as much relaxation and length as you can and maybe using your exhale to expand or deepen your stretch just a little bit maybe pressing your hands into the floor a bit more to bring your hips closer towards your heels Honoring what feels right for you today, feel free to take any modifications for the poses. Feel free to come back here to child's pose anytime that you just need an extra little bit of a rest and join us when you feel ready. We'll spend one more minute right here just breathing, just relaxing, just melting towards our thighs to the mat. Before we move, it's a beautiful time to set a personal intention for your class today. Maybe someplace that you need a little bit more energy or focus. Maybe your intention is just to let go or simply only be concerned about your breath today. Everything else is what it is. Hold on to that intention, whatever is personal and feels good for you. 
or don't even worry about it. Just continue to breathe and enjoy movement. We're going to gently press ourselves up, pull ourselves forward, getting your hands, palms underneath of um, your shoulders and chest as we come into some cat-cow. So pressing the tops of your feet and toes into the floor, pressing your knees down into the mat. Go ahead, find that big rounding of your back and tucking of your chin towards your chest, still applying pressure into your hands, palms, as you come up into cat. And then exhale, use your breath to gently relax and release into cow. Be sure to once again find that space, pull your shoulders away from your ears. Really trace a line, look up towards the ceiling as much as you can. Find that stretch on the front of your throat and engagement, and then pressing into your knees, opening up those glutes, spiraling your inner thighs slightly towards the back of the room. And change. Take your time, really moving slowly with some intention right here in Cat Cow. Creating as much space and length in your vertebrae as possible. Let's slowly pass through two more times in each direction. Think about finding some activation of those shoulder blades as well. So as you come up into cat, separating those shoulder blades. As you drop down into cow, squeezing them together. Still just making sure that you're breathing, not coming into any stretches so much that you have to sacrifice your breath. Take your time, make your way back to a neutral tabletop. So eyes gaze down towards the floor. Once again, grounding your knees into the mat. Even the pads of your fingers press down into the mat. We're gonna keep our right hand, left knee down. Go ahead, extend your right leg behind you. Stretch your toe like you're gonna to touch the wall and extend your left hand in front of you. Coming into bird dog, go ahead and make some circles with your ankle, with your wrist in one direction, in the opposite direction. Really reach now, find as much length as you can through your right toe, through your left hand fingertips. Can you bring all five of your fingers to touch each other? Let's go ahead and give ourselves five crunches here. So take a nice deep inhale as you draw your elbow and knee together. Really squeeze it in, find that rounding of your upper back. And as you exhale, Send it back out, really reach and find that length. Inhale, pull it in. Exhale, send out. Three more, inhale, pull in. Exhale, extend out, even squeezing, activating your glute like you're gonna touch your toe to the wall. Inhale, in. Exhale, out. The last one, inhale, in. Exhale, out. Release your left hand down towards the mat. Release your left toe behind you, but keep it extended. We're gonna cross our left leg over, sorry, our right leg, over the left side of your body. And as you do, turn and twist to look at your right foot. Just take a couple of breaths here, keeping that chin slightly tucked towards the chest. and change gently like your toes are going through sand draw that right leg back take a moment right here in your plank set up just grounding your right big toe down towards the floor pressing into your hands palms activating those shoulder blades to kiss towards each other pulling your belly in tight and change draw your right knee back in feel free to give yourself a couple more Cat cow, starting to really identify where your body might need a little bit of an extra stretch. So maybe some rounding of your shoulders, some circles, some circles with the hip. Let's go ahead and get our bird dog on, on the opposite side. Not feeling this extra tank top today. So I'm just gonna get rid of it right now. 
Yay! Honoring myself. Okay, keeping your right knee and your left hand down this time. Go ahead, extend that left leg out behind you like your left toe is going to touch the wall. Point your toe, pull your shoulder blades together, knit your rib cage tight, still looking down at the floor in front of you. No extra wrinkles in your neck. Make some circles with your ankle, with your wrist. Maybe opening and closing your fist first in one direction and then in the opposite direction. Make sure you're not sinking your chest down towards the floor or shoulders to ears. Find that long length from fingers to your toes. All five of your extended right hand fingers touching each other. Use your inhale to pull that belly in. Draw your elbow towards your knees. Find that rounding and your exhale to extend out. Find that length again. Inhale, pull it in. Exhale, extend it out. Three more. Inhale, pull in. Exhale, extend. Inhale, in. Use your breath. Exhale, out. Find your length. Last one. Inhale, in. Exhale, out. Bring your right hand down towards the floor underneath of your chest shoulders and just drop your left leg back where it is. Cross your left toes over the right side of the body, and then go ahead and turn and twist and look for your left toes. Make sure that you didn't sink towards those shoulders, so still finding a lift of that upper body. Let's take two more breaths right here. And change, draw those left toes back out behind you, curl them under, pressing Pushing into the ball of your foot, left heel stacked right on top of that ball of the foot. Squeeze your glutes, extend through your heel, but don't allow your heel to come towards the back of the room. Staying stacked, staying active, and change. Go ahead, draw your left leg in. Feel free to once again give yourself some cat cows. I'm just going to turn a little to the side so you can see me a little easier for this next one. If your wrists are hurting, let's lift ourselves up for a moment. Make some extra circles with our hands. Okay, we'll relax those wrists a little bit more before we come into gate latch pose and do some down dog. Pardon me while I'm having another of my beautiful hair days. So gorgeous. Okay, so next up we're going to go for like zombie arms. So starting with your fingertips down by your waist, pull your belly in, hanging out here and kneeling if kneeling is uncomfortable for you. Think about putting a folded towel right under the back of your knees or sitting up on top of a block. So with our fingertips down towards the floor, we're just going to raise our hands up like we're zombies. Fingers stretch down towards the floor. If this is enough of a stretch for you, if your wrists are really super tight, hang out right here. If you want to add a little bit more, go ahead and use your right hand to push the top of your left hand down, fingertips coming closer towards your arms. Still just breathing, work on keeping that belly tight and change other side. Left, right hand fingertips reach down towards the floor. Awesome. Go ahead and open those arms all the way out towards the side, squeezing your shoulder blades towards each other. And then we're going to take our right arm and cross it over the left side of the body, grabbing hold either below or above the elbow, just not applying pressure at the elbow. Take a moment, take a deep inhale, roll those shoulders down and back. Find that big stretch crossing over your body. might even find a little rotation of your core to really activate your mid and upper back here. Just breathe in, honoring whatever you can bring to the practice today. Take another deep inhale. On your exhale, release. 
Take your time relaxing, open all the way out. And then let's cross over on the opposite side. So left arm crosses over the body, grabbing hold either above or below the elbow, no pressure on the elbow. Once again, inhale, roll those shoulders down and back, pull that belly in again. Maybe oof, even twisting a little bit from the core, bringing the stretch towards your mid back as well. Take three more breaths right here. Great, go ahead, open it all the way up. And this time we're gonna interlace our fingers behind our back. Go ahead, stretch those knuckles down towards the floor, opening up the chest, squeezing shoulder blades together. Make sure you're not finding an overarching of your back too. So pulling that belly in tight, knitting your rib cage together, just focusing on creating a big stretch in your chest and activation of those shoulder blades. Change, release, inhale those arms all the way up overhead. Go ahead, interlace your fingers, bend at the elbows, and bring your thumbs to the outside of your neck, opening up those elbows nice and wide. Again, make sure you're not overarching your back. So knitting that rib cage together, give yourself a little massage right here on the sides of your neck, finding wherever the tense spots are, extra little squeeze of your shoulder blades as your elbows go back behind you, but only so much that you don't exacerbate that rounding of the spine. Working to find that lifted length. All right, stop your beautiful massage, bring your thumbs towards each other, tuck your chin to your chest, stretch those elbows forward, don't apply pressure on the back of your head with your hands, palms just allowing them to hang out there. If you find you can't have your hands on the back of your head or neck without applying pressure, you can separate your hands and even bring your fingertips to your shoulders as you stretch forward. Awesome, take your time. We're just gonna round ourselves back up. Release those hands into your lap for just a moment. Take a moment right here. Come back to your nice relaxed breath. Feel free to close your eyes. Bring the focus back to yourself, to your breath, to relaxing here within the stretches. Awesome, we're gonna come back into tabletop. So getting those hands palms underneath of your shoulders. No facial turning to the side a little. Uh, keep your left knee grounded down to the mat. We're gonna lift up our right leg and extend it all the way out to the side. In line with your hip, bring your right, oh my gosh, wow, things are really tight for me. Bring your right big toe down and then relax and release your right heel to the floor. Can you even keep your heel in line behind your toes so your toes are pointing towards the top of the mat the same way that your fingers are? Press the outer edge of that right foot into the floor. Press your left knee down to the mat. Pull your belly in tight. We're gonna lift ourselves up. Inhale, come up overhead. My camera is super low. Cool. Squeeze those glutes, push those hips forward. Finding a big stretch on the right leg, especially the outside. We're gonna reach over towards those right toes. Big side stretch coming into our left side. Right hands grabbing hold of the left wrist for this big stretch. Make sure you're still breathing. Two more breaths right here. On your next inhale, lift yourself up. We're gonna separate our hands and slowly come down so that our left hand comes down to the mat. Right arm, right shoulder, right hand is stacked. Lift that left leg up in line with your hip. Go ahead, bend, sorry, right leg. Bend your right knee, heel coming back towards the glute and reach your right hand back. See if you can grab hold of your foot at the pinky toe side. 
stretch your knee towards the wall behind you, opening up your chest. You can even turn your chin towards the right shoulder. Stretch the toes towards the back of the room. And change, slowly, gently release that foot. Don't let it fling you forward. Stretch your right arm back up towards the ceiling. Relax and release your right toes down towards the floor. Get that pinky toe engaged as well. Press the outer edge of the foot down. Ring your fingertips to meet with your left and walk yourself back in towards the center. And then bring your right knee back in, back to tabletop. Feel free to shake it out a little bit right and left, honoring whatever your body needs today for your practice. Remember, it's practice, it's not perfect, it doesn't matter what it looks like, it just matters that you take this time and show up for yourself. All right, so spreading those fingers out nice and wide, maybe even elbow creases starting to shine forward towards the top of the mat. This time we're gonna keep our right foot grounded, right knee grounded, extend your left leg out towards the side in line with your hip, big toe comes down, bring your pinky toe down and relax and release your heel towards the floor. Take a couple moments right here, just enjoying the sensation of the stretch that you're creating through your left leg. Pull that belly in tight, create some space with your spine, start to walk yourself in. As you get there, we're gonna inhale our arms up overhead. This time, left hand grabs hold of right wrist. Pull your shoulders down away from your ears. Suck your stomach in, stretch your hips forward. Take a deep inhale, lift up from your waist and on your exhale, slowly, gently, find that stretch over to the left side. Try not to collapse your chest down towards the floor. So right shoulder comes back, left shoulder comes forward, creating a big stretch all over the right side, still pressing those left baby toes, side of the foot into the floor. Two more breaths right here. Use your inhale to gently lift yourself up. Separate your hands. We're going to rain our right hand down to the floor in line with our knee as you lift your left leg up in line with your hip. Go ahead, bend your left knee, bringing your heel close towards your glutes and reach back. See if you can grab hold of your pinky toe, still grounding the right knee, right foot into the floor. Draw your left knee back. Heel comes away from the glutes. Getting a nice little back bend or a big back bend here, depending on how flexible you're feeling today. Squeeze shoulder blades towards each other for three, two, one. Take your time, gently release, extend that left leg back out, left arm up towards the ceiling. Bring your left toes down towards the floor. Heel comes down, pinky comes down. Left hand fingertips come by your right and then walk your hands back in towards center, coming back into our tabletop. Draw your left knee in. Yay! Good job, you guys. Feel free to shake it out one more time. Then we're gonna go ahead, curl our toes under. Maybe separate your hands a little bit wider. Once again, shine those elbow creases forward towards the top of your mat. Really press into the fleshy part of your thumb and your pointer finger. We're gonna come up into down dog, so take a deep inhale, send those hips up towards the ceiling, but feel free to keep a generous bend of your knees, maybe even walking your feet out a little bit wider. Feel free to pedal your heels, take a moment walking the dog. Belly comes towards your thighs, biceps brace right by your ears, inner thighs spiraling towards the back of the room. We're gonna come right into a hip opener, so keeping that left foot grounded. Inhale your right leg up towards the ceiling. Exhale, right foot comes forward. Let that right foot down on the floor, we're gonna drop our back knee down. Untuck our toes, you might need to wiggle your right foot forward, you might need to wiggle your left foot back, and then start to push those hips forward. You can either keep your fingertips down on the floor, can you eliminate some of this rounding of your upper back? If it's a very far reach for you to the floor and you can't eliminate that rounding, think about lifting yourself up. 
finding a little bit of extra length here. Back to your breath, to your stillness, drawing your right hip back and left hip forward to increase the stretch right here in that left hip crease. All right, we're gonna come into a half split. So ring your fingertips down towards the floor, a little different half split than usual. As you start to send your hips back, we're gonna stop as our glutes come just above the knee. Maybe you wiggle your right foot out a little bit more. Maybe there's still a lot of bend in your right knee. Just enjoy the stretch that you're creating today. It's going to be a lot harder with this shortened stretch to flex your toes back towards your face, but you can still find some great rounding of your forehead down towards the knee. Take one more big breath here. And then we're gonna pull it forward once more for an optional low lizard. All right, so if it feels good for you, think about wiggling your right foot out to the side a little bit more than we had for our first hip opener. And you have an option to bring your forearms down towards the ground. Maybe that works for you, maybe it doesn't. If you still would like to challenge yourself more here, with or without your forearms down towards the ground, we're gonna tuck our left toes under. We're gonna lift that back knee up off of the floor. Still shifting your right hip back, left hip forward. Keep those hands palms under your shoulder or elbows under your shoulders. We're gonna hang out here for three more breaths. Now we're gonna send our right leg back. We're gonna come into a plank. We're gonna try some chaturanga, some up dog. We'll come back to down dog and do the opposite side. So ground your hands into the floor. If you didn't lift that back knee up, lift it up now. Wiggle or send your right leg back to meet with your left, maybe bringing those knees down towards the mat to come on down into the chaturanga. Elbows close by your side for a push up. Lifting yourself up, up dog, big stretch of your back. Toes on the floor, we're gonna roll over our toes, send ourselves back up into down dog. And once again, feel free to walk your feet in a little bit closer, pedal the dog. Lots of belly stimulation right here in these forward folds. It's super normal if you feel any gurgling or any gassiness. I mean, that's what you're here for, to relax and release, to get it out. If you're feeling super gassy or bloated, let me know. I am happy to show you my favorite posture is to be your own personal trumpet. Okay, go ahead, ground your right foot down to the floor. Can you get your heel down as well? Big stretch on the back of your calves. Send your left leg up towards the ceiling. And then use your breath, come on forward. Bringing that left foot down towards the floor, we're gonna gently relax and release our right knee down and untuck those toes. Feel free to wiggle yourself forward. Work to find some length from your spine to eliminate this extra bit of rounding, maybe using blocks underneath of your hands, or once again, lifting yourself up with your hands on your knee. Right hip forward this time, left hip back, back to our breath. Nice and slow, relaxed. Inhale, find that extra length through your spine, and exhale, maybe push your stretch a little bit deeper. Nice, one more big breath up here. And then we're gonna bring ourselves back down towards the floor, start to come into your reverse split, walking your hips back. This time, just keeping your hip on top of your right knee maybe wiggling that left foot a little further forward. Option to this time round your chin towards your chest, bring your forehead closer towards your knee. Think about really pressing that right knee into the floor and left heel into the floor to create a bigger stretch along the back of your left leg. If you joined me yesterday for those reverse plank step outs, this is a great way to stretch everything that felt tight during that move.
One more super slow breath right here. And we're gonna walk ourselves forward once more, coming into that low lizard. So again, options are either keep your hands, palms on the floor and stay lifted with your chest, or if you have the flexibility coming down onto your forearms or a block, we're gonna tuck our right toes under this time, lift that left knee back up off the floor. Sorry, right knee, oh my gosh. Right and left and left and right. Just do the best that you can that your body have today. Is something moving? Awesome. Three more breaths right here. And then don't worry, we have another big child's pose coming, another long relaxation. But first, let's send our left leg back to meet with our right. Bring your knees to the mat if you need to. Bring your elbows in close by your side. Lower yourself down. Chaturanga into up dog. And then we're just gonna open our knees wide, send our hips back towards our heels and come into child's pose. You can be as active in this child's pose if you want. If you're still looking for some big stretches of the shoulders, I promise they're coming in just a moment, but you can start them right now by tensing your fingertips on the floor, cupping of the hands slightly to help you send your hips back towards your heels, bring the stretch more towards your lower back as well. take three more breaths right here. Great. Keeping your hands in front of you, we're going to draw ourselves forward to bring our hips to stack on top of our knees. Once again, you can open those arms really wild, wide. <laughs> We're coming into melting hearts pose. If it's uncomfortable for you to have those hands wide and arms extended, you can either fold both of your hands in. However, if you'd like to really work towards finding that stretch in your mid back, keep one of your arms extended, even if you bring your forehead down into your opposite forearm. I want you to keep working to relax and melt your chest down towards the floor while keeping those hips stack on top of the knees. So press your knees into the floor and find that spiraling of your inner thighs and the separation of your glutes the same way that you did for down dog. We'll take three more breaths right here. All right, let's switch those arms. If you just have one arm extended, fold the opposite arm in, bring your forehead onto your forearm, extend your left leg out in front of you, left arm, oh my gosh, and let that chest sink down towards the mat, pressing into your knees, spiraling those thighs out, melting your heart towards the floor to feel that stretch in your mid upper back. Three more breaths right here. Take your time. We're going to pull ourselves forward, chest coming down onto the mat. Get your elbows underneath of your shoulders. We'll take a moment here in Sphinx Pose. So separate your feet out as wide as feels comfortable for you. You can be active here in Sphinx Pose with your chin neutral towards the floor to really feel a deep, deep stretch in your lower back and a little bit in your mid back. 
or bring a stretch onto your shoulders as well as your low back by tucking your chin towards the chest. Two more breaths. We'll get one more big stretch of our shoulder. Go ahead and make a pillow with your hands, a little diamond. Relax your head down towards the diamond. Bend your knees and windshield wipe your feet right and left, right and left. Relieve that tension that built up in your lower back. We're going to go for a shoulder stretch slash spine twist on our bellies, bringing in as much of the stretch as feels good for you. So extend your left arm out, get your left hand palm in line with your shoulder. We're once again going to bend our right knee, bring your right hand close towards your shoulder, press into it as you roll over onto the left side of your body. You can enjoy a spine stretch here or twist by walking your right hand fingertips away from you and working to get that right shoulder closer towards the mat. Or if you'd prefer to get another shoulder stretch, roll more onto your left side of the body, even opening up that right leg a little bit more like a clamshell. Oh, I'm feeling it in the right glute. There's some cramping right now. And use your right hands by your chest to just help support you in this twist. Come back to your breath. Really send that exhale to any tense points that you might feel for whatever stretch you created for yourself today. Take your time, we're going to come back onto our bellies, so extend your right arm if you brought it in. Roll on over, bring your heels, toes close to each other, extend your right arm out, right hand stays in line with your shoulder, left hand comes in as you bend at that left knee and roll over onto your right side. So remember if you want to get this spine twist, Walk your left hand fingertips away from you more and bring your left shoulder down towards the mat. However, if you want more of a shoulder stretch, rolling as much as feels good onto the right side, finding where it feels relaxed to keep your left leg. Just breathing into any tension that you might be feeling. Exhale, let it go. Continue to create that space between your vertebrae and in your mind preparing for those new beginnings. Start to walk your left hand fingertips further away if they're not already there. Rolling back over onto your belly. Bring your hands palms in line with your chest. We're gonna press ourselves up to tabletop. Walk your knees in. Go ahead, cross your ankles over each other and sit yourself back to come onto your glutes. Yay, kick your legs out in front of you. Take your time, we're gonna slowly, gently lower ourselves back down. And as you get there, feel free to allow those knees to come in towards your chest. Squeeze your knees in towards each other, feet relax side by side. Relax and release your shoulders away from your ears. Elbows stretch down towards your hip, chin tucked towards your chest. Get as much of your neck and back vertebrae flat on the mat as possible. A little knees to chest pull is a little stimulation of your colon. Go ahead, open those knees a little bit wider now. Send the soles of the feet up towards the ceiling for some happy baby. 
either keeping your hands, just applying some pressure along the back of your thighs, or walking your hands up as far as you can, either to the outside or inside of your feet, wherever you can take grip, bringing your knees maybe a little closer in towards your armpits. Feel free to rock gently side by side like the happiest baby that you can imagine. Talk about ready for new beginnings. Everything's a new beginning for a baby. If you want to giggle, feel free to giggle right now. Nice. Go ahead, bring the soles of your feet together. Relax and release your feet back down towards the floor. Take your time, extend your legs out in front of you as we come into our final savasana. We'll spend three minutes right here in final savasana together. If you have longer than three minutes that you can spend just on your mat, taking the time to come back to your slow, relaxed breath and really appreciating and absorbing your practice, then please do spend as long in your final savasana as you have time today. Make that time because you're worth it really defeats the purpose of class when class ends and you just grab all your stuff and run away from the room as much as possible. Sometimes the hardest part of the yoga really is finding the stillness that we're creating right now. So keep in mind that Savasana is also a posture, also known as corpse pose. And complete stillness is the goal. Anytime that you make a voluntary movement, you're coming out of the practice. So scratching your head or adjusting your costume, intentionally making wiggles or squeezing and shaking, all of these things are probably unlikely to have occurred in the rest of your practice today. Sometimes the hardest part of class is just continuing to relax your mind from all of the things that start to start seeping in while we do have the stillness. If you find that's you, come back to the focus on your breath. Once again, just being present. Hope you found that physical and mental stillness to really take the time to just thank yourself for creating this space for you today for honoring yourself from the inside out feel free to stay down here on your mat as long as continues to honor you or 
Take your time, keep your eyes closed. Slowly make your way up to a seated position of your choice. And from there, we can close practice together. Nice, take a moment, bring your hands, palms to the center of your chest with your thumbs touching on your sternum, relax your shoulders away from your ear. Once again, create that length in your spine as you tuck your chin to your chest, honoring yourself. Thank yourself. I thank you for coming and sharing your time and energy, not just with me, but I know you'll be sharing it with everyone who you come in contact with. Continue to think good thoughts, speak good words, eat good foods, do good deeds, and most of all, enjoy this long weekend. If you have any questions or concerns about anything that we said or did today, please reach out. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Namaste.